This is a moment, okay? This is a really, really important moment. I, I have a feeling like this woman could be in a lot of trouble, that this judge could be in a whole lot of trouble because when you go after someone to the tune of nearly half a billion dollars, when it was all said and done, $489 billion that the state of New York was seeking from the likes of Donald Trump, and for what? I mean, they actually did something kind of crazy. Letitia James actually invoked a consumer protection statute in, in such a way um, as, as to go after him. I mean, it, it didn't make any sense. This particular law, Executive Law 6312, was enacted to protect the public from persistent fraud practices, but in the case of, say, two sophisticated parties, it's not to be used. And this is what the appellate court is getting at. The judges are like, we don't buy it. I'm going to show you some clips from the courtroom momentarily. But first, just remember who this woman is, Letitia James, a political animal with one goal, to tear down Trump however she could. What kind of society is that? Watch her. I've taken on powerful interests like developers. I've taken on legislators. I've taken on landlords. I've taken on powerful interests in the city of New York because I believe in a good fight. And right now, what we need is someone who understands that you should not be afraid, not be fearful of Donald Trump. We should take him down. We should sue him all the way to bankruptcy. We should investigate his business interests. We should investigate his business holdings. We should investigate whether or not why he was in a why he was once in debt and now in a position to purchase all of this property. We can do that because I've been trained to do that and I will do that at the same time knowing the Office of Attorney General and its powers and its responsibilities and its duties. My name is Letitia James and I plan on being the next Attorney General of the state of New York. God bless you and thank you. All right. Think of that. Think of that. I mean, I rest my case. She said it for herself. I mean, she, she campaigned with one promise. She wanted to be the attorney general. And she wanted to be elected to take down Trump. We've seen many, many clips. I wanted to show you that one because I actually hadn't seen that one. I played you like a whole clip string of her saying over and over again how she was going to go after Trump and she was going to go after him. Now we know through this executive law 6312, which was enacted to basically make sure that the, the public broadly would not be taken advantage of. In other words, you couldn't actually go and, and take advantage in various ways, et cetera, by lying and, and go after the public at large. But it's never, ever, ever been applied to a single individual in a sophisticated relationship. And just to remind you here, Donald Trump wanted to take out a loan. So he went to his bank, which was Deutsche Bank. Deutsche Bank said, sure, we'll give you the loan at this percent interest rate, blah, blah, blah. They said, what do you got as collateral? And Trump said, I got Mar-a-Lago. I got Trump Tower. I got this, that, and the other. And then it's, of course, Deutsche Bank's responsibility to decide whether or not they're willing to make the loan to Donald Trump based on the collateral he's offering. And guess what? Deutsche Bank said, yep, we'll take that trade. We'll take it all day long. They did it. They got paid for it. Everybody made money on it. The money got paid back. And then there's this little Letitia James who's coming out of nowhere saying, no, 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 you can't do that. I mean, kind of giving new meaning to the Stalin phrase. Remember his head of his uh, secret police saying, you know what, show me the man and I'll show you the crime. That's what she's doing here. She's going to use the law however she can to go after Donald Trump. And guess what? Now it's coming back to bite her in the you know what. Hmm. Because there is this thing called an appellate court where you actually hopefully have people that are not just political animals trying to go after an individual because think of the implication of that. This is something that had come up there with the justices. Let me play you an excerpt. The woman, by the way, who's representing Letitia in there for the state is Judith Vale. And just watch how she gets shut down really fast. May it please the court, Judith Vale for the New York Attorney General's office. All of the defendants repeatedly violated- Ms. Vale, can you identify any previous case which the Attorney General sued under Executive Law 6312 to upset a private business transaction that was between equally sophisticated partners where the supposed victim had the ability and legal obligation to discover the allegedly misrepresented matters by conducting its own due diligence, where the supposed wrongdoer advised the supposed victim through written disclaimers to conduct its own due diligence 
and to draw its own conclusions, where the alleged misrepresentation almost entirely concerned inherently subjective valuations of properties and businesses. Yes. And where, and where the victim never complained about any fraud in the transactional losses from it. Because I've gone through the cases which you've cited, and all of them always involve the consumer protection aspect, it involved protection of the market. Well, several responses. And I want to add to his question, and little to no impact on the public marketplace. Well, maybe I'll take that first, Your Honor. <laughs> In other words, what was Letitia James doing? What was she doing? And how can this Judith Vale even try to defend it? You see how the justices are going after him. They're like, what are you doing? Like, this has never been tried before. I mean, you, you can't do this. You get two sophisticated parties in which no one has lost any money. You, you, you can't apply the consumer rules here. You know, other cases, you said, involve damage to consumers or damage to the marketplace. You don't have anything like that here. Where are the damages? There are no damages. Everybody made money. Two sophisticated parties enter in an agreement, and then all of a sudden you get an attorney general coming out of left field, literally left field, and say, huh, hang on, no, you can't do business. I'm not going to let you do business. And then they go after him for $500 million, this judge, and Gorin, however you say his name, and Goran, who honestly should be disbarred along with Letitia. And I'll tell you, I spent six weeks down at that Duke lacrosse story you know, you want to talk about a rabid prosecutor. That's what that guy was. He didn't care about the facts. He didn't care about the case. He just went after these kids because he wanted to go after them. He wanted to make his career. And that's no different than what Letitia James seems to be doing. She wants to go after Trump. And in going after him, she's going to bankrupt him as much as she can. She said it, right? She's going to go after all his assets Four days after a judge ordered Donald Trump to pay $355 million for a decade of fraud, New York Attorney General Letitia James says she's prepared to do everything she can to make sure the former president pays his fine, including, she told us, seizing the buildings that bear his name. If he does not have funds uh, to pay off the judgment, uh, then we will seek uh, you know, judgment enforcement mechanisms in court, and we will ask the judge to seize his assets. I mean, this is bad, guys. This is really, really bad. So that's exactly what she started to do. At first, she started out claiming that she wanted $250 million in fraud damages. Again, no one was complaining. There were no damages. The state is seeking $250 million. Wow. Okay, and then she decided to up it to $370 million, and then Judge... <laughs> Angeron said, hey, guess what? I can do even better. I'm going to offer you 489 But Before it was all said and done, you're looking at basically half a billion dollars. And then they're like, oh, Trump, why don't you have it? Like anyone has a half a billion dollars sitting around collecting dust. By the way, by the way, if you do, that's problematic. I mean, you really shouldn't let 5,000 sit around collecting dust. I mean, if nothing else, put it in a money market for me, all right? So you earn a little something. I know it's getting harder and harder, which actually brings us to, um, we've got more to say, by the way, on Letitia, but I just want to give a quick shout out to one of our great sponsors here on the show, which is American Heart for Gold. You can text my name, Trish, T-R-I-S-H, 265532. Again, not letting you know money just hang around because these dollars are losing value every single day. Our dollars are getting destroyed by inflation. This is why billionaires don't have tons of money just hanging around collecting dust or under the mattress. Up to $15,000 worth of free silver. If you qualify for this offer there at American Heart for Gold, you can find out by texting my name, Trish, to 65532. You can also go to trishlovesgold.com, trishlovesgold.com, 1-844-495-1115, 1-844-495-1115. I do think it's a really really smart way to diversify your investments. And these guys are great. What a fantastic offer. Like I said, for qualifying offers up to $15,000 in free silver, but back to Letitia. So she's going after him saying, you don't have the $500 million just hanging around. Oh my gosh. He's got to get a bail bond for that. What are these people doing? What is this judge doing? What is Letitia doing? Donald Trump was like, I can't believe this. Like, I can't believe this is America. This kind of feels a little Banana Republic-esque, shall we say. Remember him here? The state judge just ruled, and he's crooked as you can get, 
And a lot of people expected something like this, but not for the amount. Uh, but this is a very dishonest man. This is a man that's been overturned already on this case four times. But a crooked New York State judge just ruled that I have to pay a fine of $355 million for having built a perfect company. Uh, great cash, great buildings, great everything. It affects New York. It's mostly talking about New York, where we have a totally corrupt attorney general. She campaigned on the fact that I will get Trump, I will get Trump. Everybody's seen it. Letitia James, they've all seen it. Well, we'll be appealing, but more important than that, this is Russia, this is China, this is the same game. It all comes out of the DOJ, it all comes out of Biden. It's a witch hunt against his political opponent, the likes of which our country has never seen before. You see it in third world countries, banana republics, but you don't see it here. So I just want to say this. You build a great company, there was no fraud. The banks all got their money, 100%. They love Trump. They testified that Trump is great, great customer, one of our best customers. They testified beautifully. And the judge knows that. He's just a corrupt person. And we knew that from the beginning. We knew it right from the beginning because he wouldn't give it to the commercial division. This judge thought Mar-a-Lago is worth $18 million and it's worth anywhere from 50 to 100 times that amount. So we realized that. He ruled against me before he even got the case. He ruled against me. He said I was guilty. He didn't know what I was guilty of before he even got the case. And Letitia James, that's another case altogether. She's a horribly corrupt attorney general, and it's all having to do with election interference. There were no victims because the banks made a lot of money. They made $100 million. And by the way, I paid approximately $300 million in taxes as the migrants come in and they take over New York, I paid over this period of years over $300 million in taxes, and they want me out. Oh, let's see if we can get them out. These are radical left Democrats. They're lunatics, and it's election interfering. So I just want to thank you for being here. Uh, we'll appeal. We'll be successful, I think, because, frankly, if we're not successful, New York State is gone. People are moving out of New York State, and because of this, they're going to move out at a much faster rate. They used a statute, it's a consumer fraud statute, that's never been used for a thing like this before. They used it on me because I'm running for president. I'm beating Biden by a lot. We're beating not only the Republicans, we're beating Biden by a lot. The poll came out today, we're up 20 points on Biden. If I weren't running, none of this stuff would have ever happened. None of these lawsuits would have ever happened. Nothing would, I would have had a nice life. But I enjoy this life for a different reason. We're gonna make America great again. These are corrupt people. These are people that shouldn't be allowed to do the things they do. And they're using this as weaponization against a political opponent who's up a lot in the polls and always will be because I'm competing with a man who can't put two sentences together, who doesn't know what he's doing. And we're heading into a third world war because of this guy. We have to win this election. They're doing everything possible to step in a way, but we're not gonna stand for it. So thank you very much. We will get back to work. Uh, it's a ridiculous award. This is a fine of $355 million for doing a perfect job, for having paid back a loan with no defaults, with no okay. problems. So, so there we go. I mean, you, you get the point. And you know what? He's right, because it doesn't make any sense that they would be charging him a half a billion dollars for a transaction in which everybody came out ahead. Again, two sophisticated parties. If you're going to have New York AGs running around like Tish James just picking out their enemies and saying, I'm going to get in the middle of this business transaction or that business transaction, I don't think you're going to have much business in the city of New York, in the state of New York, which, by the way, relies on all those financial firms for the tax revenue they bring in. And they rely on developers for the tax revenue they bring in. That's going to go away, all right? So what happened there was actually, I mean, of all the cases, this one really got under my skin because, you know, I'm a former business person myself. Uh, and you could say I am nowadays, but no, I, I started my career in the financial services sector and I've been covering finance and markets for some 20 years. So I look at this and I, I'm just blown away, absolutely blown away. And the fact that it got this far, so she needs to be disbarred. You can't have people running around like that. And the judge, Arthur, 
Judge Arthur needs to go, ladies and gentlemen, because you cannot have corrupt people in such positions of power. Now, I'm thankful you got an appeals court with five judges there who are looking at her like she is really and truly off her rocker, that Judith Vale trying to defend what Letitia James was doing in the appeals court. She does not have a leg to stand on. They don't even have anybody that's claiming to be the victim. It's truly nuts. But you know what? It's all coming out.